This is Duke University. I have learned not to use slides unless they are picture oriented. Text on slides is just, it's pretty boring and kids can read, you know, everyone can read. I tend to use slides only as an introduction when we all need to be on the same page, like introducing the, the goals and the methods that we're going to use for that midterm and the final exam projects. Um, or at the end of a class that has been discussion based, um, I used a lot of jigsaw exercises to help the students read the literature, come to a consensus in their expert groups to decide what is this paper telling us, and then I swapped them all up um, into different groups. So each expert had to teach their paper to two or three other students. So they get a chance to explain what they know and to listen to others and work together to come to a big picture conclusion of how those three or four papers all mean something together and build off of one another. So that was an, uh, a really exciting teaching tool that's better than me standing in front, you know, telling them about what all of that information would be instead of having them struggle with it themselves.